Welcome back. This is part two for the mystery box or the vanishing egg trick. Uh, something that I originally showed my students as a problem solving activity. What happened to the egg? Well, if I simply turn the container over, we see that it was still in there, but now it comes out. So the question is, what happens inside the can? Now in the previous video, I had a lot of good comments. And if you watched the previous video, you know I made a couple boxes that are going to help us answer that question. Now both boxes have plastic that's currently covered with paper so that you can't see inside. But if we remove the paper and take a closer look, we'll see that there's a shelf here on about a 45 degree angle. And if we take an egg and break it, see what happens inside. Now when I turn the box in this direction, we see that the egg doesn't come out. And if we turn it in this direction, we see that it does. So the idea is I could put the egg in the box or in a can, or we then cover it with a piece of cardboard and turn it over in this direction and the egg would simply sit on that shelf and not come out. The purpose of the cardboard was to capture any stray drops right at the beginning. Now I did make one other box so let's go back and give this one another try. I'll drop the egg inside. There we go. And let's put a piece of cardboard over top. Turn it upside down, pull the cardboard out. Oh, there's a drop. I can also turn it in this direction. And it still doesn't come out. Well, that's a little different than the other ones. Any ideas how this works? So let's take a closer look inside. This box actually has two shelves. There's one here and a second one here. So when I turn it over in this direction, it gets caught on that shelf. And if I turn it in the opposite direction, it's going to come out from that first shelf, but still lay inside that second shelf. So if I want this egg to come out, I have to turn it an additional turn, and there it goes. The fun thing about this design is that you can turn the box one way and then the other back and forth as many times as you want to and the egg's going to stay in the box. Of course, until you're ready to release it. And out it comes. So here's the basic design for the two boxes that I just showed. We could add a third shelf, which would make it even harder to get the egg out. Now, if you want to try one of these for yourself, the build can actually be fairly simple. Now, of course, these are going to require some woodworking skills and quite a bit more effort. But the ones in the cans, and especially this one, are really simple. In fact, let me take you through the steps on how to build it. To make it easier to see, I'm going to use this small Pringles can. The ledge will be made out of the lid, and I'm going to cut the rim off of it. When I'm done, the lid will lay flat, and I also want to cut a piece out where the egg will pass through. Next, I'll use a piece of sandpaper to rough up that plastic so the hot glue is able to grab it a little bit better. Now it should be ready to glue inside the container at about a 45 degree angle. Adding a piece of tape to it is going to make it a little bit easier to hold it inside the can while I'm gluing it. In this small can, I can get the nozzle of the hot glue gun inside the container. If the container were longer, I'd have to just let the glue drop down onto the seam and try and seal it the best I could. Once the glue is holding the lid in place, you can remove the tape and then glue that part also. I did go over the seam a few times just to make sure I had it sealed. 
Now, if I had made this in a longer container, I would have been able to add a second shelf to it. Well, I think the glue should be cool enough by now. Let's give this little one a test. It goes in. That's the easy part. And if I turn it over, ah, there was one drop. Worked pretty well. So there's my mystery box of the disappearing egg yolk. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I want to thank you for watching. Come back and see me again. Okay, bye!